Nick, what's the difference between Rad 140 and Rad 150? You know, I had to do some digging and a lot of research over the last year or so to kind of get all the information I needed to be able to really articulate a response to this question, and I'm here to do that today. We happen to have both Rad 140 and Rad 150 at Performance Labs, so I can tell you guys a little bit about it and give you guys some information about the differences between the two. Guys, the biggest difference is going to be potency, all right? potency. Rad 150 is supposed to be the superior formula to Rad 140. It is relatively new, so there's still a lot of research being done on it. But Rad 150 is supposed to be more bioavailable and more potent for you when you decide to use the product. And when it comes to half-life, Rad 140 is about 60 hours according to new research on Rad 140. We used to think it was about 24 hours somewhere in that ballpark, but new research suggests a maximum half-life of around 60 hours, which is actually pretty long. There is no research yet to show the half-life of Rad 150, although I would probably assume that it would be somewhere around the half-life of Rad 140. I think they're going to be kind of similar on that aspect. Honestly, it might be a little bit shorter, more like 48 to 50 hours, but generally it'll be about the same in my opinion. So if Rad 150 is supposed to be the superior formula, why are people still buying Rad 140? The answer to that's quite simple, you guys. It's just been around longer. There is more research. There's been a lot of long-term research due to humans using these products, even though they are technically not for human consumption in any capacity. And it's just a name that people know a lot better than the typical Rad 150. Rad 150 is just relatively new. So if it's new, a lot of people sometimes don't go to the newer products. They use something that's tried and true like Rad 140. This doesn't mean that one's better than the other when it comes to that type of aspect. It's just personal preference. I personally would say Rad 140 is something that I would consider using if I was going to look at any of these products just because it has been around longer. But that doesn't mean that Rad 150 is bad. It just means Rad 150 is new and sometimes people shy away from things that are new, especially when you're talking about research purposes. Whether you choose Rad 140 or Rad 150, the potential benefits if you decide to consume these products are going to be things like increased muscle mass, strength, stamina, recovery. It can help you maybe lean out a little bit as well and all of those things. But there are downsides to using either Rad 140 or Rad 150 as well, like a direct impact on your natural testosterone production. Rad 140 and 150 both attach to the androgen receptor. Therefore, it can inhibit your body's natural production of testosterone, requiring a post-cycle therapy, otherwise known as a PCT, like in clomiphene, to help reboot your natural testosterone production. But even then, there is no 100% guarantee that in clomiphene or even clomid is going to reboot that production. So this is also a risk that you guys have to assess on your own and decide on your own. Remember you guys, these products are not for human consumption. I'm not telling you to consume them in any capacity. I'm just telling you that there are people out there that do consume them and these are the things that they report. At the end of the day, I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one. You just have to be the one to make that personal decision and make sure you always do your own research, you guys. There is tons and tons of information out there on these products and that you guys can look at and reference so that you can make the best decision possible. When it comes to dosages and the effective dosages, they're about the same between Rad 140 and Rad 150. The dosage range is between 15 to 30 milligrams at a time for either one. But again, you have to be the one to make that decision. That being said, if you guys are out there and you're looking for Rad 140 or Rad 150, we have them both at performancelabs.com, spelled with a Z at the end of labs, the link's in the description below. The Rad 140 we call Execution. I don't know why, I just like the name. I thought it sounded pretty good. And then the Rad 150 we call Triumph, which again, I just thought was a pretty cool name. So that that way you guys can reference it and you can find it on our website. Once again, that is performancelabs.com. Labs is spelled with a Z at the end. Both of these products are available in both capsules and liquid form. And there is really no difference between the two. It's literally personal preference. So you guys are there. Make sure you use code TikTok10 at checkout. That's gonna take an additional 10% off of your purchase for you to save you guys a little bit of money. I appreciate you guys, and I really hope that this video helped you guys out at home. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next one.